Hello friends in this video we will discuss how we can deploy an application developed in Visual Studio to Elastic Beanstalk from Visual Studio. So first let us create an application. So for that first I am opening Visual Studio. So we will create an application and we will deploy it using Elastic Beanstalk to AWS. So let me click on create new project. Uh, here we will choose the template uh, the dotnet framework template so let me choose this one and let us give us a name elastic beanstalk ebs application so we will deploy this application to aws using elastic beanstalk so i am clicking on create so let us choose this template mbc and click on create now it is going to create the application. Once the application gets created, we will test it by just running the application. If it runs successfully, then we will deploy through Elastic Beanstalk. So the application has created now. This is the application. So let us run this application. I am pressing Ctrl F5 to run this application. So we'll, we should get a home page successfully if this application got created successfully. Yeah, now we got this home page. Now we will deploy this application through Elastic Beanstalk to AWS. So for that, uh, we need to right click on this and we need to click on this publish to AWS Elastic Beanstalk. Uh, we will get this option only once we install this AWS toolkit. AWS toolkit we can install from the extensions as I have already installed. I am able to see this AWS toolkit. So if you guys are not installed this AWS toolkit, you can just click on manage extensions. And from here, you can search for the AWS. And there, and there you can search for AWS and there uh, you can install this AWS toolkit. Once we install this AWS toolkit, we will have this option to publish to AWS Elastic Beanstalk. So just I'm clicking on this publish to AWS Elastic Beanstalk. Here, uh, EBS web app, as I have already connected to the AWS environment, it is showing uh, the profile details. <coughs> and we can just choose this cre create a new application environment as we are deploying for the first time. So if we have not connected to the AWS environment, uh, we need to connect from AWS Explorer that I will show you. You can click on view AWS Explorer. If you open this as I have already created, it is <coughs> connected to our AWS environment. So if you have not connected, you just need to click on this button. You need to give the profile name and you need to provide the access key ID and secret access key. Otherwise, you can import that CSV file containing this access key and secret key. Then once you connect to the AWS environment, then when we right click on <coughs> click on publish to AWS Elastic Beanstalk, we can see that profile which we have created. As I have already connected to the AWS environment, it is showing like this. So <coughs> let us choose this button, create new application environment and click on next. So in this, uh, give the application name as is EBS application and it will show the environments dev, test and prod. Uh, for this demo, let us choose this en environment as EBS application dev. Then it will automatically frame that URL based on the application name we have provided and we can check for its availability. Yeah. So this URL is already available, so it will install. And this is the URL we will get once it got installed. So let us click on next. Here we need to choose the container types. 64-bit uh, Windows Server. The various types of servers we can choose, we have options. So for now, for this demo, we will leave the default option. 64-bit Windows Server, 
running IIS 10.0 and the instance type also we have the option to select the instance type and this is the key pair uh, this uh, this will create an EC2 instance and to connect to the EC2 instance to log on to the EC2 instance we need a key pair so this is the key pair uh, we have already in our AWS environment so it is showing that in the drop down list and we can choose all the options default single instance environment and here we can choose the application load balancer if we want choose the type of load balancer to use when not creating a single instance so if we don't create a single instance uh, we can we will have the option to choose the application load balancer here then it will create the load balancer as the application will be installed in multiple instances then the request will come to the load balancer and the load balancer will route the the specific instance based upon the load of the uh, <coughs> load of the EC2 instances so as we are use, choosing this option single instance environment so we are not creating application load balancer uh, we will leave all the default values and we will cl click on next <coughs> here role uh, it will create these roles AWS Elastic Beanstalk EC2 role so this role is used to deliver AWS credentials to your application so that it can access AWS resources so it will create a role by with this name and it will assign the required permissions to deploy your application to Elastic Beanstalk also will have this one the service role that allows Elastic Beanstalk to monitor environment resources so this is the role it will create with these two names so let us keep the names as is if we want we can change existing IAM roles I think uh, uh, we have the roles already this is the AWS environment if we go to IAM we can check the roles here roles we don't have these roles right AWS Elastic Beanstalk EC2 role so we don't have these roles in our AWS environment so it will create these two roles and provide the necessary permissions that are required to host the application to Elastic Beanstalk so let us choose as let us leave the default values and once uh, we deploy the application we, we can see the roles here right click on next and here also we will choose the options all default we will leave the default options and the application path default website so if we want to enable tracing we can check these boxes enable tracing and if you want to enable health enhanced health monitoring we can check these options but let us do uh, keep the default options and click on next and we can review all the options we have provided here in the screen and after that we can just click on deploy so it is going to deploy this it is going to create an EC2 instance with the instance type and the instance uh, the details Windows Server we have given right so with all with the, using all those details it will create an EC2 instance and it will deploy our application to that EC2 instance through Elastic Beanstalk so it is going to take a time so let me pause the video for a while once uh, the deployment is completed I will just start this video so if you observe using Elastic Beanstalk in Amazon S3 storage bucket for environment data so it will create environment is starting so it will uh, show all the steps step by step it will take some time so let me pause the video once this deployment is completed I will start the video now it has completed the deployment so these are all the steps uh, that are processed for this deployment and here the advantage of this elastic beanstalk is uh, the time will be saved like if we need to install this application we need to create an instance easy to instance we need to install all the required software like IIS in our case and we need to copy our application to that server and we need to install but using elastic beanstalk 
the time is saved so it will create the instance automatically and it will install the required software to de deploy application for the deployment of applications and it will deploy the application <clears throat> now successfully launched an environment so and this is the url so if we click on this url see the home page got browsed successfully and if we go to aws management console and elastic bean stock so if we go here we can see that environment so this is the environment ebs application dev ebs application that we have created just now and also we can uh, see the ec2 instance that got created so if we go here if we click on ec2 so this is the ec2 instance that got created and also we can uh, log into this instance just click on this and actions connect as this is a windows server we need to do rdp so we can click on this and we can connect this download remote desktop file so we can connect before connect we need to get the password so to get the password uh, we have already have the key pair so we need to browse that key pair and we need to decrypt and we need to fetch this password so once we get that password we can also connect to that instance that got created through elastic beanstalk so we can click on connect and we can see their is we can open is and we can see the see our application there under the default website we can see <coughs> so it is initiating the connection Oh, you are not able to connect. <clears throat> so we will check the security groups first for that instance. So let us go to this instance. Go to security groups. <clears throat> okay, we need to add a rule to connect to RDP. So let us click on the security group. And let us click on the rules, edit inbound rules. And we will add a rule. To connect to RDP through RDP here we will have that RDP yeah RDP so uh, for uh, our testing purpose uh, we are giving this IP address actually we should not give like this but for testing purpose through internet uh, we can connect to RDP for that so let us save these rules uh, now let us try to connect to that uh, EC2 instance that got launched through Elastic Beanstalk. So that EC2 instance, we have already downloaded that file, right? Downloads, what is this? This one, EBS. So now let us connect. Now let us paste the password. Click on connect. So this is the instance that got created through Elastic Beanstalk and in this instance the IIS is installed and on that IIS our application MVC application got installed. So now we are logging to that EC2 instance. All these are done through that Elastic Beanstalk. So let us open IIS. I just clicked on Windows R button and I'm typing init MGR. So this is the IIS. And uh, uh, under the default website, uh, our application got installed. So if we click on expand, Besides, this is the default website. If you go explore, 
we can see all the application files right so these are these are the application files now let us again uh, test this uh, by just redeploying by modifying one file so let me minimize this let me go to visual studio and just uh, just change we will make a change to the home page uh, let us open this views uh, let us open this index.html so here i'm just adding another tag h1 h1 tag modified and redeployed through elastic beanstalk so let us save this and again let us redeploy it just right click on it click on publish to elastic beanstalk as we have already published this application so we will choose this redeploy option we will select this and we'll select this and we will select this option and we will click on next so here we can click on next and we will click on deploy so we have modified the application and we will check so it is again redeploying and let me pause the video for a while after the redeployment I will just again start the video now the redeployment is completed by updating the existing environment and if we browse this URL uh, we can see the change that we have implemented modified and redeployed through elastic beanstalk and also if you go to the uh, server uh, in the visual studio we have modified this index.chtml file right so uh, in the EC2 instance, it has deployed in this EC2 instance through Elastic Beanstalk. So if you observe in this instance, uh, just click on refresh. So if you go to the views and if you open the home, if you direct right click and open this uh, index.html through a notepad, see you can see the uh, modified file that got deployed to this EC2 instance. In this way we can deploy our web application through elastic beanstalk from visual studio thank you friends thank you so much